Good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. Sure. Hope you had a great weekend. We saw some pretty good showers and thunderstorms, and we saw some decent and much needed rain around the area. We'll talk all about that and where we stand so far when it comes to rainfall, where we're heading for the rest of the month. But first things first, let's get you out the door here this morning. Checking your forecast for the day today. We start off with temps in the 60s. By lunchtime, we're climbing the upper 70s. And our goal today is going to be below average when we're talking high temperatures. We'll stay partly cloudy, generally speaking, but uh, basically Interstate 40 North will have temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s. Interstate 70, uh, 40 South, not 70, 40, uh, will have temperatures in the 80s. Uh, so again, below average weather. The hottest place is going to be Chattanooga at 87. Dew points, however, do stay in the upper 60s today. Uh, and so, yes, it's still going to have a little bit of a muggy feel to the air today, but that quickly changes as we get into the day tomorrow. So not much of a heat index value, but some of us will have a couple of degrees added to our air temperatures to how it's going to feel. But the heat stress goes way down, so no issues there. Six o'clock evening rush hour, no heat index value will be right around 80, 75 by 8, and by 10 o'clock we're at 71. It is going to be an amazing evening as the air will start to dry out a little bit more throughout the day today. Forecast low temperatures tonight drop down into the 50s and 60s. That's going to be super comfortable. And as you can clearly see, not a lot of rainfall expected all the way through Tuesday. So your three-day forecast, we'll have plenty of sunshine Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, Friday, we'll start to see those temperatures come back up. So we're going to be below average for several days. We're going to have some lower humidity. Why? Because look at this, dry air continues to settle on in. We'll have a little bit of green, the dew points in the 60s today. But look at the dry air that's expected to come on in. This takes us all the way through Wednesday, Thursday. Here's Friday. Then we start to get a little bit return flow, but not much as we get into the upcoming weekend. So with that said, you can see our dew points are going to be way into the 50s and low 60s. That's going to make for amazing morning low temperatures. That's going to make for amazing evenings. And really during the afternoon, we're talking about below average temperatures. But we're not looking at much in the way of rain over the next seven days. This takes us over all the way through next Sunday. So pretty lackluster in the rainfall department. We'll keep everything pretty much rain-free. Our best chance of rain is going to be throughout the day today as we get a little bit of wraparound moisture coming in from that low-pressure system to our north. I say that we got some much-needed rain because we did. We had a solid stretch of not much rainfall. Our average monthly rainfall for uh, for the month, I should say, is 3.63 uh, uh, inches. Well, we are now officially above our average monthly rainfall. Even though we had a solid stretch of dry air, uh, yesterday at McGee Tyson Airport, we picked up uh, over three quarters of an inch of rain. That puts us now at 3.74 inches of rainfall for the month, which is much needed because as we round out the month, we may be trending a little bit on the drier side at or slightly below average. So we definitely need the rain as we head into the month of September and October. All right, temperature trend. We're going to be below average all the way through, say, Thursday. Then more seasonable temperatures are returned to the area Friday, Saturday. Again, the dew points will stay on the lower side, so not much of a heat index value, but those heat index values will gradually climb a little bit as we get into the latter part of the week and into the upcoming weekend. And let's continue our temperature trend as we look ahead all the way through the 25th and the 29th of the month. We may be trending above average, and that may last all the way through the first part of September. So check in with the East Tennessee Weather app. It's a free app download. Just go to your app store and search East TN Weather, all one word. Look for the orange TN and the white lightning bolt. It's everything you need for weather right here in East Tennessee. Have a great Monday, everybody. Enjoy the sunshine. We'll see hit and miss sunshine again. It can't roll out a couple of spotty showers here or there, but most of us will likely stay on the dry side. See you soon.